hey guys welcome to the channel uh, it's uh, been a little while since I put a video out but um you know I'm getting back from the Philippines uh, on the 10th of last month um, actually I haven't really picked the cameras up at all um, I think that the reason for that is with having almost 500 videos I was starting to feel just a bit burnt out and um, I needed to just take some time for me you know what I mean for me the wife um, I just I just needed I think to try to get my head straight a little bit on what I wanted to do um, and I'm, I'm still to be honest with you I, I, my channel is based on all kinds of stuff so I don't know where this takes me a lot of times but um, that's the reason why I haven't been putting a whole lot of videos out I've been really just uh, with getting back into into work um, you know I'm back out on the road I'm, I'm getting a ton of hours again so I just needed to to take a rest you know from doing uh, any any filming or, or whatever but here we are so you know some of the videos that I put out um, I've had you know quite a few people commenting on them and and you know I noticed this time going to the Philippines I didn't really have I don't know I just didn't have the drive that I usually do I had the drive to be there I had to drive to want to go and do all kinds of stuff it was just when it came to me making the videos I found myself it was really weird I found myself not wanting to film as much I don't know I I guess um, I just wanted to enjoy myself because when you have camera in hand all the time you miss out on certain things because you're too busy recording and and you know uh, trying to trying to you know catch footage of different things and so I don't know I just was like you know what I'm going to put the cameras down and I'm gonna to try to enjoy the rest of the time that I have here and the other thing too I noticed was on this trip here I even felt different it wasn't like the same from prior years of going to the Philippines what I mean by that is with after having the heart surgery with with taking different medications I felt different it was just different to me but I still you know didn't let that get in the way with with me you know going and, and having the time of my life it was just different for me it just felt different I don't that, that's the best I can describe it um, but anyhow on some of the videos I put out, I had a somebody that commented and, and this sort of thing here really kind of gets under my skin when people leave comments and <laughs> you know this gentleman here states you know I don't understand why white Caucasian men why they are going into these these areas of the Philippines like I guess he means towns uh, whatever and stealing the locals from the Philippine men and I I just was like well wait a minute stealing the women from the local men I can assure you I didn't steal anything um, you know my wife and I met online and we both did our homework we both worked extremely hard to get to where we are today and there wasn't any stealing anybody from anyone in the Philippines I don't understand that kind of mentality with people um, you know listen it's it's it it isn't any different here than what it is in the Philippines I mean you have women you have men this woman meets this man they either get together get married do whatever whatever it isn't any different in the Philippines um, but stealing the women is by far the the last thing I think 
the men are doing. Now, it is to my understanding that Filipino women are mostly attracted to white Caucasian men, older men. And, you know, that's something that, I mean, I don't know, what do you want me to say about that? I, you know, it's the same here as men are attracted to Filipino women. It isn't any different. Um, you know, I find the Asian culture extremely attractive. Um, they just are, I mean, look at the women. The women are absolutely beautiful. The, the skin, the, the eyes, the hair, most beautiful hair that, that I've ever seen. Um, it's just the culture in itself. It's the culture. Um, so what I did was, with with uh, saying that, what I did basically did was I, you know, did a little research on this, and uh, it's really funny because, <laughs> you know, a lot of people have the wrong impressions on two different cultures or two different people coming together, and you know, one saying, well, there's only certain reasons why. A Filipino woman would want to get with a Caucasian white man and starting with number one would be we Filipinos are only after the all-powerful white man passport and I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> excuse me uh, if they want to go abroad they're gonna find a way right Yeah, we're resourceful and we'll do whatever we have to to reach our dreams. We don't need the white men's passport to get us. Um, I, you know, once again, this, this all falls on people that have usually the wrong impression. And one of the things that I noticed is that most people that leave these comments know very little, very little about the culture itself they don't know anything about the country the people nothing so it's rather interesting on how people are so judgmental on how people look and what they think what they think is what is happening uh, two would be we Filipinos are only after white men's money well I can assure you that when my wife and I got together it wasn't about the money I can assure you that I work for an auto dealership, I work for Audi, and I did not make a ton of money, okay? I have a whole different position now where I do make better money, but I by far am not rich, okay? So that's uh, totally out. And uh, one of the things that I have to say is that my wife, when we first met, we talked by video every single day for about a year. And not one time has she ever, ever asked me for money. Um, so there you go. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It does. But those are usually, you know, signs to, to watch out for. If you know what you're doing. Uh, white men like us because we're submissive and don't speak up for ourselves. Well, let me tell you that that is absolutely... Uh, incorrecto uh, Filipino women do speak up for themselves okay and uh, in fact my wife is quite brilliant she is very smart she's very attractive she's beautiful and she does speak for herself okay so I don't know where all this is coming from um, but this supposedly is you know what and how some people out there are thinking you know that's the only reason why these people want to come to this country or you know they they say it's a ticket a free ticket to america well let me tell you something america is not all what it seems to be okay it's it's definitely not what it seems to be it's really hard to to live here you have to basically work hard with very little play, okay? 
just to survive and that's that's reality that is a fact um, we're sexotic feminine fatale and easy to date whatever the hell that means okay I probably didn't even read that right but oh well uh, as Filipinos we believe purity is important and chastity is one of the most valuable traits of a, uh, a girl can can have in the Philippines some parents still don't allow their daughters to have a boyfriend until she turns 18 or finishes college the Catholic Church still doesn't support sex before marriage and in some parts of the countryside courtship still exists the boy needs to impress the parents first before he's allowed to date the girl there you go I mean that's that's in the Philippines um, you know one of the things that I said to my wife was you know when we first met up uh, I actually proposed to my wife on a white sand beach thank you a lot of people don't like me for that they were like wow you know that's that's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity well I took that opportunity and I proposed to her dag on it on a white sand beach and it was like amazing uh, but what I did was I went to her father and I asked him for his permission to have the permission to marry his daughter okay and um, I just wanted to do it the way that I think we should do it and not just jump into you know not to just jump into basically what I'm trying to say guys is you got to get to know each other before 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 okay so I had asked my wife I said how does your mom and dad I mean how do they they feel about me what do they think of me you know and one of the things that she said to me that kind of struck me was they know how sincere you truly are to want me in your life and and for me to be your wife because you boarded a plane and traveled across the world to come here okay to meet with them which to them that says a lot okay that means that he's he's very sincere on you know wanting our daughter so that that kind of stuck with me um, but I, I just felt it was important to get her dad's permission to take her hand in marriage so uh, what else we got white man oh, white men marry Filipinas because they need a slave Wow <laughs> yeah I'll take this one right here she's she looks like she'd make a good slave come on people seriously now listen man I hope there are people you know I have I've actually seen it I've seen where men expect a woman to not let me let me rephrase it there are men out there that think that women's jobs in the home are are basically in the home you do everything in the house you do everything for me if I'm gonna go to work then you need to basically yeah that that is what it is a slave you need to slave over me that kind of stuff y'all pisses me off because that is not what it's all about not what it's all about so there is no woman that should be treated like a slave period um, my wife I've given her the opportunity to do whatever she wants if you want to go back to school I support it you want to go to work I support it whatever it is that she wants to do I support my wife I don't um, you know there they say America land of opportunity well it is you can pretty much go and try to do as much as you can here you can work as many jobs as you want you can do whatever you want basically as long as you're you know not breaking the law but yeah no I don't think so y'all uh, most Filipino couples that I know here she's not a slave so y'all got it wrong again next we Filipinas are desperate and only look only hook up with creepy old white men am I creepy 
Do I look creepy to you? Maybe when I first get up out of bed, I look creepy. I mean, who doesn't, right? Um, I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, they consider, I guess, that as being an old folks' tale. So we're just going to leave that one alone. We're not even going to touch that. I think that's all the ones that I had written down. But anyhow, guys. Um, yeah, so... Um, just wanted to touch on some of that stuff. Now, now listen, when I'm in the Philippines, it's perfectly normal. I believe it's perfectly normal because this is four times that I've been to the Philippines. It's perfectly normal for women to approach you or to show an interest maybe in you or there's that shyness that's in everybody there most of the time and they really really want to talk to you I've seen it it's happened okay but and it's it's only because of the situation in itself we have to understand that in the Philippines it is a lot different it's it's not easy it's not an easy lifestyle it's very extremely hard and who wouldn't want a better life right they all want a better life mom and dad wants a better life for their kids the kids want a better life to be able to support mom and dad down the road and it's just a different culture different kind of lifestyle the country is just absolutely totally beautiful but different unlike here here it is well, you all pretty much know how I feel about here in the States. Um, there's a lot of problems here. A lot of problems. But, um, you know, I was talking to a good friend of mine who he lives in Iceland. And he's working extremely hard right now. Um, they will be eventually, a few years down the road, moving to the Philippines. And... He asked if that's what I would be doing. And, you know, i got to be honest with you guys. And I know I'm all over the place here. And that's just me. That You know that's what I do. I really, really badly want to go and live in the Philippines. But due to the medical circumstances there, I don't know if that's really the right thing to do. Um... If you're somebody like myself currently that has undergone certain things and I got a, you know, I have a, a mechanical valve and do you really want to take that chance? You know what I'm saying? I mean, the medical field here I feel is really good. I mean, it's so advanced. And in the Philippines, you're lucky to even get in the door of a hospital. Um, and I don't like how they they do it over there. I mean, you have to pay up front for everything. You have to have the money up front in order to even be seen. And I think, me personally, I think that's wrong. It's absolutely wrong that they do it that way. And, and maybe it's because of the overpopulated areas. I mean, it is very overpopulated there. But I just don't like how... If you were to need an ambulance, good luck. Because they cannot get through traffic. Cannot get through traffic. Um, if you need a police officer, good luck. Uh, uh, another gentleman, uh, he actually is very popular on YouTube. Um, who had experienced uh, uh, having two little bang-ups with his car with somebody else. And it seemed like it took forever forever for the authorities to show up it's like you spent the whole day waiting so yeah I don't should I be looking at that or should I be looking at just going there and spending out the rest of my life hopefully to be healthy to enjoy the the, the beauty of the country the people well yeah that's what I want but I personally right now that is not something that um, my wife and I 
are really planning for. In fact, uh, within the next few months, we are planning on buying a house here. And um, I'm actually looking forward to having my first uh, somewhat YouTube studio. And I'm hoping that um, things are going to really pick up then. So that was kind of like a little secret I let out. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Uh, but yeah, we plan we we're planning on buying a house here. And uh, we just have to wait a little bit. And then we will be searching for that house. We actually have one house that we absolutely fell in love with. And uh, we're hoping that it's still available in June or July. So there you go. But that's pretty much it guys I just felt that I was getting burnt out and I needed to sit back and just reflect on where I was at um, my videos you know I've been down this path numerous times my videos are not really getting a whole lot of views and you know what it is what it is I I'm not expecting to be some YouTube star I'm not looking for that I am though very extremely happy that my channel is way over a million views and that right there uh, is very impressive to even to myself because I never thought I'd ever see that but there it was but as far as the uh, trip in itself I just noticed that I felt a lot different this time I didn't really have the oomph like I did before and prior years I'm getting all this footage I just I don't know I just wanted to just sit back relax have a couple of beers and just enjoy my stay and that's what I did that's why the videos you see that are coming out still from the Philippines are probably not the greatest because honestly guys I did not really get a lot of footage and unfortunately um, the first four or five days we were there it was just steady downpours the whole time we were there so couldn't do a whole lot when it was raining and maybe that I don't know maybe that had something to do with it but I just sat back relaxed and thought it is what it is maybe on the next trip I'll be able to bring in better footage so with that being said I want to thank you guys and I will from this point on I'm going to be putting out more videos I'm back into the groove here and uh, I hope that you guys will subscribe and you will share the video and don't forget to hit that bell so that you know when the next video is coming and share it daggone it share the video you guys could help me expand my channel by throwing me out there to your friends and and things like that that would be super duper help to me um, do I sound desperate uh, not really because it is what it is but it would just be nice to um, I'm still trying to reach that goal of 10,000 subscribers I got a long ways to go but anyhow it is what it is so peace out talk to you guys in the next video and uh, take care of one another that's important Oh, and also, uh, it is my wife and I's uh, wedding anniversary today. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to go and have some fun here today. I went, she's actually working. But um, six years, six-year wedding anniversary. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.